Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again everyone. So, today we will be learning about the scientific notation. Okay, so in the scientific notation, I have set some rules so that for you to follow. So, in order for you to um, transform any given into a scientific notation. So, basically po, scientific notation is a way of shortening your ve um, very long number. Okay, so if you have a very long number, there are means of making it shorter, and that would be the scientific notation. Okay, so the very first rule, okay, uh, maybe let's just uh, provide an example first. Say we have um, 2, 7, 9, 3, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, point zero, zero three. So say we have this number, it's a little bit long, and you want to make it shorter, okay? And this is where scientific notation comes in, okay? So the very first rule of scientific notation is this, okay? You move, you move the decimal to the very first non-zero digit. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just rephrase that. You move the decimal to the right side, I mean. To the right side of the very first non-zero digit in the number. Okay. Again, you move the decimal to the very first non-zero digit num uh, the right side of the very first non-zero digit in the number so basically you have to take the decimal which is of course here and it is here you move it to the very first non-zero digit okay so we said that it's non-zero because um there are cases that you will have decimals okay but in any case at the point this is this would be um applicable for Decimals, so maybe decimals are 0 0.00, or, or of course, numbers like this. So you take that decimal, you move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dito sa right side niya. Kasi 2 is the very first non zero digit. And then the thing that you have to take note here is, of course, you have to take note ilang beses ka tumalon from one digit to another. So, bilangin natin ulit ka 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you have jumped 10 times. So take a hold of that number and make sure that you label it as n. So your n is equal to 10. Okay, so that's the very first thing you do. Okay, and then the next rule would be this one. You have to take the first number. before the decimal and <clears throat> the next two numbers after the decimal. So I actually made this one quite clear na para even para hindi siya ano, nakakalito okay? after the decimal. So basically it's like this. Look at the given. Sabi daw dito, you take the first number take take the first number okay before the decimal and after the decimal may dalawa ka pa so meaning ang what you will take would be the 2 and 2 7 and 9 okay and then after that after you take that just side note after the decimal oh sorry just undo that after the decimal okay and then after you do that round it off round it off so, pag nag round off ka, you always take account into account the next number. Okay? And the next number before, after 9 is of course 3. So, rounding off that, it would still be 9. Okay? So, it's 2.79. So, take that number and it's um, 2.79. And we denote this as A. So, this is our A. Our N of course is 10. Our A is 2.79. Okay? And then the last thing that you will be doing is express in the form 
of a times 10 raised to n. So our a is of course 2.79 times 10 raised to n. What is our n? Our n is 10. So 10 raised to 10. Okay, and that would be your scientific notation already. Okay, so let me just um have a side note here. Okay, um, maybe I'll just write it here. So let's just have a side note, and this would be for future references. Okay, if you move going to the left, if you move going to the left, papunta sa left, your n is positive but if you move to the right okay your n is negative so so we call ulit if sorry oops if you if you move to the right it's the n is negative and if you move to the left then it is positive okay so that would be it so the complete rule natin and also the side note now, let's trace an example. For example, say we have 0 0.000000392077. Okay? So, again, our rule would go like this. You move the decimal to the very first non-zero digit. And the very first non-zero digit in this given is, of course, 3. And you move it to the right side. Yeah. So, meaning I would move it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Diyan yung decimal natin. Okay? And you move for 6 units. So, your n is equal to 6. And then, the next thing that you have to do is you have to take the 3 digits or the digit before the decimal and the 2 digits after the decimal. Let's encircle, uh, box that. This one. And that would be your a. And that would be your A if and only if nakapag round off ka na. Okay? So, our A is 3.92. And if that is our A and we have already our N, then, mangyayari sa atin would be, we apply it in the form of A times 10 raised to N. But of course, let's remember the side note that if you move to the right, then it is negative. And if you move to the left, then it is positive. So, obviously, we move to the right. Therefore, our n is negative. Okay? And then, let's write our given. In this form, our a is 3.92 times 10 raised to negative 6. And this would be your scientific notation for our given, which is, of course, 0 0.000003920077. So, this would be our scientific notation. Another example. And this would be our last one. Medyo madali lang scientific notation actually. Just, you just have to follow the rules. Okay? So, say we have 7, 2, 3, 9, um, 4, 4.0022. Okay? So, again, you take the decimal, you move it some places to the, to the left. And... Kasi ano yun eh, um, your very first non-zero is 7. Okay? So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry. I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 5 decimal places. Your n is equal to 5. Then you take the first 3 or yung first one before the decimal and the next 2 after the decimal. And then of course you round off. Since that is 9, so meron yung plus 1. So, our A would be 7.24 kasi you have a 9 here. Okay? And then, of course, it would be expressed as A times 10 raised to N. Your N is where? Going to the left. I mean, it's going to the... Is this left? Yeah, it's going to the left. Therefore, it would be positive. So, we have A rate times 10 raised to positive N. Replacing those things, 7.24 times 10 raised to and this would be our scientific notation. It went over. Let me just erase it. Okay. And this would be your scientific notation. So it's a little bit easy lang. If, uh, just, you just have to follow the rules. Okay? The rules will be simple. It's just the three. Let me just repeat before we end our video. 
first one, you move the decimal to the right side of the very first non-zero digit in the number. So next one, take the first number before the decimal and the next two after the decimal and then you have to round it off. So there you go. And then the last one you have to express in the form of a times 10 raised to n wherein if you move to the left, then your n is positive but if you move to the right then your n would be negative okay so i hope you follow that everyone and if you will have any other questions you can raise that in our class or you can pm me directly okay so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh